Hello guys, this is What About Nintendo and I'm here to talk about an NX controller quote unquote leaked picture. So let's go right into it. First off, I'd like to state a fact that a lot of people in the comments seem to be misunderstanding. Just because I make a video on a rumor does not mean I 100% back this rumor as credible or true. I try to state that in the video. And, but people seem to think that I think that every single video rumor I post about has to be true or credible or even close to that. In fact, the video I'm making right now, I'm making it because of how uncredible I think this rumor is. So let's get right on into what it is. You can see this picture right here. It's an NX controller leak, supposedly. I don't think so. I think it really isn't. I think it's really fake. It just looks fake. First off, look at it at a glance at a glance that looks maybe perceivably good the Photoshop and this is really good the Photoshop is is good they did a good job on that however however this is obviously fake the first thing you notice there's no d-pad there's no d-pad that goes against a lot of the rumors I know the rumors aren't 100% true all the time but it does go against those which makes it a little bit unlegitimate also why would you, I mean, unless they're going for the one controller for per person, you're like, you detach it and there's two controllers for two people, which I don't think it is, then this doesn't make any sense. They, why would they do that? No D-pad, just two buttons. Also, why is everything not labeled? The buttons are not labeled at all. Nintendo doesn't come out with controllers with buttons that aren't labeled. It just doesn't happen. They're not going to show off a controller with no labeled buttons. Also, this thing looks like no Nintendo design ever. It looks blocky, it looks chunky, it looks unimaginative, it looks boring. Nintendo doesn't make things that look standard. They always make some kind of either sleek or wacky kind of like new device. That's Nintendo. That's just what they do. They wouldn't make something this bland and disgusting and dumb. Third off, just going to the, this is what absolutely took it, like, so far beyond maybe this is true into this cannot possibly be true, is if you notice, if you look at the left controller versus the right controller, they're not even the same. They're not. They're different. The one on the right actually has, like, depth to it. Like, it's not, it, it's, like, looks like a nunchuck almost, the way it's, like, rounded in the back for, like, the triggers. And the left one isn't. It's completely flat stick. And then the right one has like a normal joystick, maybe a little bit smaller than normal, but pretty much normal, just like the Wii U gamepad control sticks. And then the left one has like this Nintendo 3DS slider joystick, which you wouldn't even need. It makes no sense to be on here. Why, why would they do that? Nobody is gonna do that. They're not gonna make the right controller different than the left controller. That just, even if they did, that just completely defeats the purpose of having four buttons on both sides. Seriously. If, I mean, maybe Nintendo is going for that four buttons on both sides symmetry thing, which would be neat. I mean, it'd be kind of cool. I don't think it would work that great. But if they were, they wouldn't do it this way because then both controllers are different. Thus defeating the whole point of making the buttons the same. Who made this and thought that it was gonna work out? Also, the dock doesn't even look like it's something that would connect to the TV. There's not even like a wire running to it. Usually in mock-up pictures, there's you know like a wire, even if it doesn't look anything like a wire, it's just like a black line that goes straight and moves like no wire would ever move. There's still always something connecting to the TV just to show you that they connect. Because otherwise it's not obvious that they connect. It just looks like you're playing something on and then the screen's also playing it. This is retarded. This rumor is not true. I mean at first glance, you think, maybe, kinda, because it's good Photoshop, and then you look at it for even two more seconds, and you're like, no, this is so, no, this is, no, no, no. This is on par with the level of the last Lee controller I talked with, the screen that folded in on itself, except for this doesn't have a stupid design that would never even plausibly work. <laughs> Who makes these leaks? 
and then they think that people will believe them, even though they're the stupidest thing you've ever seen. But anyways, guys, I'm just rambling at this point because of how stupid it is and my computer is getting louder and louder. You notice that? I bet you, I don't even know if you guys can hear the computer. Sometimes, you know, I complain about the computer and then I watch back the video and I'm like, oh, they couldn't even hear it. So I'm just like shouting at my computer and being like, shut up, you doofus. And then it's just like nobody can even hear it. I just look like an idiot and just ranting at nothing. <sighs> when the microphone picks up everything except for when you don't want it to. It, when you don't want it to pick up stuff, it picks up stuff. When you want to pick up stuff to make a point that it picks up stuff, it doesn't pick up the stuff that you're thinking it's picking up. But anyways, guys, that's all for this video. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more daily content Monday through Friday. And comment down below on what you think of this retardedly stupid, obviously fake leak. Maybe you think it's true. Maybe you have some reason to debate all the amazingness that I just took up against it. It's make it obviously false. Maybe you're smarter than me and you have some kind of rebuttal to that. But let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time on What About Nintendo.